How's it going, guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals, and we all know that Sony uses Cine EI to maximize dynamic range, but I always make sure to enable this specific setting on every project to make sure that my footage doesn't end up online looking like garbage. So as a DP, I'm primarily handing off footage for every project. Rarely am I ever involved in posts, so once the media is transferred, I can only pray that the editor knows what they're doing and can properly handle log footage. As a quick primer, Cine EI always records your base ISO to maximize the dynamic range you're getting out of the sensor. That means if you're constantly changing your exposure index on the fly, you're going to need a ton of work in the DI since none of those exposure changes are going to be reflected in the recorded image. This has major implications in post because it places a lot of responsibility on the editor to bring the image back down to the correct exposure if you rate it with a different exposure index. I found projects I've shot months after it was delivered looking like dog shit because the editor clearly doesn't know what proper exposure looks like. So how do we solve this? My solution is simple. I bake in a LUT to the internal recording. Let me explain. Now, before you all run out and grab your pitchforks, the LUT that I'm baking in is just S-Log3. I know it sounds a little weird to bake in a log format, but remember, when you change exposure indexes, the only thing that's actually changing is the monitor LUT to sort of trick you into over or underexposing. So by baking in S-Log, you're essentially baking in that look so that when you get into post, all your clips will display at the intended exposure rather than needing to push and pull everything individually. This is super important when you're just handing off footage to the editor because, I hate to say it, but most editors also end up being the colorist, and most of those editors just end up slapping on a LUT on the entire timeline and calling it a day. I found projects that I've shot online that are literally one and a half stops overexposed and look like someone went full Oppenheimer on talent, and it always makes me wonder how many channels it had to go through to get approved looking like that. That's why this setting is pretty much non-negotiable for me whenever I'm using Sony cameras. The only catch is that you absolutely need to use an external monitor to view an actual Rec. 709 image, since the stock viewfinder will only show you your selected monitor LUT, in this case being S-Log3. The FS7 actually had an option to bake in your exposure index without having to jump all through these hoops, but I haven't seen anything like it on any of the newer Sony cameras. So this is done a little bit differently depending on which camera you're using. On the FX9, you want to go into your shooting menu and select S-Log3. Then in your monitor LUT setting, enable the MLUT on the internal recording. The setting burns in whatever LUT you have selected, in this instance being S-Log3. For the FX6, you want to head into your paint menu and select S-Log3 as your base look. Then in your shooting menu, head down to LUT on off and turn the MLUT on in the internal recording. On the FX3, you actually want to stick with the original flexible ISO recording mode. It's only until version 3.0 where Sony added Cine EI to make it operate more like the FX6 and FX9. As always, whenever you're burning in any kind of look, make sure it's the correct look. Otherwise, you might be in a lot of trouble when you realize that you burned in your look at the end of an entire shoot day, so I always triple check whenever I enable that internal recording option. You should theoretically be able to achieve this using custom mode as well, but I always remember the gamma being slightly different whenever I used S-Log3 in custom mode on the FS7, so I always just default to Cine EI. Hopefully this video is helpful in some way. It's kind of weird wrapping your head around baking in S-Log, but it's just a workaround I've come up with to help protect myself as a DP. Like I mentioned, the FS7 actually had this specific option to bake in your exposure index without having to select S-Log as your monitor LUT, so I'd love to see that option implemented again on their newer cameras. If you appreciate my content here on YouTube, consider checking out my Patreon page where I post more behind the scenes content from my professional life. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.